My favorite WordPress theme is Divi Themes. This is my go-to theme builder for building my websites, and I've been using this since 2017. So when I tell you it's my favorite, it actually is. So let me show you how easy it is to build a page with Divi Themes and how powerful the builder actually is. It smiles ahead of the other competition. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Hey, what's up, Ray One? So this is DB Themes, and I will be providing the link to it in the description in case you want to test it out for yourself. But basically, I built my personal websites with DB Themes. Why? Because it's so flexible. The builder is one of the best out there, and it's my personal favorite because I can tweak any part of the website super easily. Plus, I can start building pages faster than any other builder out there. Okay, and let me show you what I'm talking about. The DB is installed on this WordPress site, and I'm going to show you how to build a page really easily with it. Now, before I get started, let me show the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. So if you want to install your DB themes on a WordPress site, I do recommend that you check out Hostinger. Now go over to the link in the description, go to services and in the services, you're going to find web hosting. This is where you're going to be able to find the really affordable plans that Hostinger has. Now I'm going to recommend to you the business plan, which is $3.99 a month because it's going to get you get great limits for what you are going to pay. Now, this is not the final price because I'm going to show you how to apply a coupon code. So let's go ahead and choose this plan because I'm going to show you how to apply the coupon code. Now, the first thing that Hostinger is going to ask you is how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months because you're going to lock in the lowest price and the lowest renewal price. Now, this is the current price for four years. But if you click on have a coupon code and type in my code or paste it in, the price is going to drop to $172 with 37 cents. That's for four years paid off on the Hostinger plan. So if you want to grab a plan, do use my coupon code. Okay. So back to my WordPress site where I have Divi installed. So let's go ahead and jump into a brand new page and we're going to get started as you would with a blank page on a WordPress site. Okay. Now I'm going to say test test for the site and I'm going to use Divi for the builder. Now, yes, you can use the default builder, which is Gutenberg. But in this case, we're talking about Divi. All right. And I'm going to show you how flexible it actually is. Okay. Now, first off, you'll go through the steps of installing Divi, adding your license, etc., and start working. Now you can start from scratch pre-made layout or built with AI. Now, in this case, I'm going to use a pre layout, which is going to be the fastest way to work. But yes, you can do the AI. OK, now they got pre-built websites like it's complete websites that you can start using. So, for example, if I want to use a realty website, I'll select it. And there's several pages that I can use. Now, these pages will be added into every page that you create. Just select the ones that you want to use. Now, you can use the same page in a different section. Just change everything around. OK. So in this case, I'm going to use the main one, which is the landing page, and I'm able to preview it right here. And I'm going to use this layout. So what it's going to do, it's going to build it for me. Yes, I'm going to import the presets there. It's going to add the images. It's going to add everything that I need. But the beauty about Divi is the power of the builder. OK, and that's what I'm going to show you. OK, our page template is now loading up. Now, what you are going to notice in this uh, builder is that if we hover over sections, there's settings available. Normally with other WordPress theme builders out there, you'll find on the left, like the settings for everything. You click on something and the settings will be on the left. Not with this one. Okay. I can go ahead and click on an element and I can go ahead and edit straight from here, or I can click on the gear icon. Now, when I click on the gear icon, this pops up and I'm able to edit every single aspect of the element that I've just selected. So in this case, we're in the content section and what it says here, this is the heading and that's what's written right there. Now, in this case, I can go ahead and change it straight from here and I can even use AI to generate content straight from here. Now, if I want to have a link to this content, I go ahead and add it right here. I can also set the background for this and there's several background settings. So everything's like really clear with Divi of how it works. So, for example, there's a background color, there's gradient backgrounds, there's images, there's a background video, background pattern and background mask. And in this case, I don't want to add that, but I'm just showing you that that's available. The admin label in case you want to use this for something else, the design settings. So here we go. We got our text. You got shadows. So if I want to add a shadow there, if I want to do uh, change the shadow settings, those are available right here. The shadow color, the heading text. So that's a uh, different setting. So H1, H2, etc. The heading font, all those settings available there. You got your sizing settings all available right here. You got your spacing, your border, your box shadow, your transform. Now transform will let you move really that element from here. So let me go ahead and use the transform translate. Here we go. And I'm able to move this text. Now I don't need CSS to do this. All I have to do is drag it straight from here 
without having to do anything complex at all. And you also have the option to transform and rotate. So if I want to rotate it from here, that is possible. Now, those are kind of crazy settings that you won't find. Or if you do find them in other theme builders, they are more complex to manipulate. Okay. There's all the, the transform skew. So if you want to use that, it gets really crazy, but I'm just showing you what's possible. Okay. And transform origin. So if you want to move it from here, that is possible too. In this case, I don't want to, uh, I'll, I'll do cancel right now. Then we have animation. You can animate each one of the elements that you select. For example, if I want to use a fade in, do I want to slide? Do I want it to bounce, uh, zoom, etc. Uh, let's go ahead and flip it, uh, fold, and you can do animation detection, animation duration, animation delay. You can even animate from different sections and do like a key points with this. And there's a bunch of things that you can do. That's for the design. There's also the advanced settings. You have option for CSS directly for this specific element, the custom CSS. You got conditions, visibility, transitions, positions. You got your scroll effects. So if you want to do some scroll effects when someone is scrolling, that is possible. So in this case, you won't notice it, but if I scroll, it will do something while I'm scrolling. So all those options are available, each one of these elements. Now, if I select the whole element, well, same thing goes, but with the whole element. These are kind of color coded. That's the green element where I have this box. The gray ones are the specific like small ones. You got your design settings here. You got your column structure where you can change all these available options for the column structure in case you want to fit more things in. You can add a new column here, links, background and admin. And again, the settings for design and advanced for each thing that you select. Now, these are grayed out for the small elements. You got the green ones for the uh, secondary elements, like big ones. And then you got the blue for the sections. Okay. Now, if I want to add a new section, I'll click on the plus button and I can do regular, special or just full width. Okay. Now, if I do full width, there we go. I want to do a full width header and I have all these available options. I'll use this and here we go. It just added it right here. Now I'm going to click X right here and I'm able to edit every single aspect of this. So again, if I want to edit, I'll just go ahead and select the gear icon here and I have the options for this or I can click on the pencil for specific sections. If I don't want to search through the whole thing, it's, it's super useful. It's useful and it saves you a lot of time and just gives you an idea of things that you can do here with the builder. So it's sections that we're able to manipulate here to build our website. So as I mentioned before, this is one of the most robust theme builders that I've seen. And it's been years since, since I've seen other ones like Elementor, Bieber Builder, Oxygen, and yes, they do have their functions. Yes, they do have their pluses and their pros and cons. But this one, when it comes to building something really easily, this is by far, I think, the easiest one, right? So if you want to save this page so that we've just created as a landing page, I go ahead and publish it and we are good to go. But there's also settings like, for example, if I want to move sections, if I want to do like a, a come back to something that I moved and I want to return to it just in case I mess something up, you got your history. You got your settings for the whole thing. You can close this. You can delete it. You can go ahead and save this to library to use it later on. You also have the plus button to add layouts from here. So the layouts that we saw were able to add pre-made layouts from here too. And you also have the, the builder with AI. Then you also have views. For example, you can view the whole sections like this or just view the whole thing really like in live per se or view it in uh, computer mode, tablet mode, phone mode. And there's also more builder settings if you want to turn off settings or leave them on. But it's just really robust things that you can do here with Divi. So definitely it's my personal favorite. As I mentioned before, this is what I use for my personal sites. Unless I am using like a, a builder that I, that's meant for something else, like a template that already has everything, I use something else. But if I'm building a website for scratch for my business or for myself, this is what I use. So definitely recommend it. And if you want to check it out, link in the description. And if you plan to grab a hosting plan, do use my coupon code. And that's a wrap.